Thank you, Dr. Carson. David and Martha, back to you. Mary Catherine, thank you. We want to turn now to the issue of eminent domain, which is being debated right here in New Hampshire. And Josh McKelvin is the political director, the anchor of WMUR TV. Josh. Thank you, David. And good evening, candidates. Mr. Trump, you have said, quote, I love eminent domain, which is the seizure of private property for the sake of the greater good, theoretically. You've tried to use the measure in business endeavors. You've said you'd support its use for the Keystone Pipeline project. Here in New Hampshire, a project, though, known as the Northern Pass, would bring hydroelectric power from Canada into the northeastern grid. Do you see eminent domain as an appropriate tool to get that project done? Well, well let me just tell you about eminent domain, because almost all of these people, actually Chris has it, but so many people have hit me with commercials and other things about eminent domain. Eminent domain is an absolute necessity for a country, for our country. Without it, you wouldn't have roads, you wouldn't have hospitals, you wouldn't have anything, you wouldn't have schools. You wouldn't have bridges. You need eminent domain. And a lot of the big conservatives that tell me how conservative they are, I think I'm more than they are, they tell me, oh, well, they all want the Keystone Pipeline. The Keystone Pipeline without eminent domain, it wouldn't go 10 feet, okay? You need eminent domain. And eminent domain is a good thing, not a bad thing. And what a lot of people don't know, because they were all saying, oh, you're going to take their property. When somebody, when eminent domain is used on somebody's property, that person gets a fortune. They get at least fair market value, and if they're smart, they'll get two or three times the value of their property. But without eminent domain, you don't have roads, highways, schools, bridges, or anything. So eminent domain, it's not that I love it, but eminent domain is absolutely, it's a necessity for a country, and certainly it's a necessity for our country. So Josh, would that be yes on the Northern Pass project? Gosh, the, the, difference, the, difference, yes, yes, yes. the difference between eminent domain for public purpose, as Donald said, roads and infrastructure, pipelines and all that, that's for public purpose. But what Donald Trump did was use eminent domain to try to take the property of an elderly woman on the strip in Atlantic City. That is not public purpose. That is downright wrong. Hey, and here's the problem with that. Right, okay. The problem was it was to tear Jeb, down. It was to Jeb tear wants down. To be, he wants to be a to tough guy. Down, he wants to be a tough guy tonight. It was to tear down I didn't the take house, the property. And the net I, result I didn't, was you tried. I didn't and take the property. The, court. the woman ultimately didn't want to do that. I that is not away, true. And, and the it was simple fact that I is didn't. to turn this into a limousine parking lot for his casinos is not a public use. And in Florida, based on what we did, we made that impossible. It is part of our constitution. That's the better approach. That is the conservative approach. Mr. Trump, take 30 seconds. Well, let, let me just, you know, he wants to be a tough guy. A lot of times, you'll have, you'll have, and, and it doesn't work very well with How him. tough is it a to take a times, property you, from an elderly talk, woman? Let me talk quiet. How a tough is it? A lot of times, a lot of times, that's all of his donors and special interests out there. <laughs> so, that's what it is. That's what, and by the way, let me just tell you, we need a ticket. You can't get them. You know who has the tickets for the, I'm talking about to the television audience, donors, special interest, the people that are putting up the money. So it is. The RNC told us we have all donors in the audience. And the reason they're not loving me, the reason they're not, excuse me, the reason they're not loving me is I don't want their money. I'm going to do the right thing for the American public. I don't want their money. I don't need their money. And I'm the only one up here that can say that. Eminent domain, the Keystone Pipeline, do you consider that a private job? I you, consider, you consider it a public that, use. No, no, let me ask you, Jeb. Do you consider the Keystone Pipeline use. private? It's is it public, public or private? It's a public use. Oh, really? A, a public use? No, yeah. it's a private job. It's a public it's use. It's a private Established job. Established by the courts, federal, state you courts. You wouldn't have the Keystone Pipeline that you want so badly without eminent domain. All right, gentlemen, exactly. You wouldn't have massive, excuse me, Josh, you wouldn't have massive factories without eminent domain. Gentlemen, we do have to move forward. Dave, Martha, back Josh, to you. Thank you. When we come back here tonight, jobs, I